Hi, I'm Chad from Chad DIY, and today we are checking out this brand new laser cutter from Xtool called the P2S. Now you might notice behind me, I have what it looks like exactly the same machine. This is the original P2. This is the brand new P2S. Now they look very similar. They are very similar in many ways, but today's video, we are gonna focus on exactly what you're gonna get with this updated P2S version. So normally when I get a brand new laser cutter into the shop, I kind of go through the whole setup process. Uh, what entails, maybe unboxing, you kind of see it for the first time. Well, I feel like I basically already did that with the P2. Uh, I got that P2 about a year ago. I still, as you can see, is right next to my computer, my favorite laser. And so I kind of went through the whole setup with that. This is gonna be almost exactly the same. The biggest thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure is you're adding that antifreeze water solution, really simple in the instructions to do that. So pretty self-explanatory. I can provide the link to my old P2 video for the setup if you are just getting the machine. But today's video, I really wanna focus on what the improvements are with this new P2S. And we're gonna start off with the exhaust. All right, so if you're looking at the back machine, very similar to the original P2, but the biggest difference, this button, and what does it do? The fan pulls right out. So that is really a nice feature to have. These things do get dirty and to be able to just kind of pop it out um, with the press of a button slides in and out super easily. And for cleaning, it does, uh, it, ma it makes it so much easier for that. Also, it has a dual fan. Now the old P2 just had a single fan. So what that meant is you're still getting that fume extraction, but most people are gonna run uh, inline fan as well. And so this kind of, this can really eliminate that need. So you're gonna get almost double the extraction with the dual fan. It's not quite, quite the CFMs as double with this new P2S, but you're gonna have that extra extraction where you can really think about not doing an inline fan. And they're kinda, they're kinda saying that's the case where you can just uh, exhaust this directly and not have to worry about anything else. Now what I mean exactly about that inline fan is this is my original P2 with the single fan exhaust. Now I do have this going to an inline fan. As you can see, I have quite the contraption here. I have a lot of 3D printed stuff. So basically all my laser cutters on this bench, uh, I have some, some of my F1 and F1 Ultras are on another bench right now. But basically my original setup is I can have four machines all exhausting out of the same, same inline fan, which is really convenient. I just open up the window works really well. But so this uh, new idea with the P2S is if you're just kind of using that machine, you can avoid this inline fan and just go right out your exhaust, right out your window or however you have it set up. So you can kind of avoid all this, which uh, this took a while, so it'd be pretty convenient to do that. All right, so the next upgrade we're gonna check out is actually inside the machine. Now the original P2 did not have any filter screens on it. So right now the P2S has these magnetic filter screens. So as far as cleaning, they really put a lot of thought into this. You can just pop these out. It's gonna be super easy to clean. The other, the P2 show, show what that looks like for the filter system. It's just kind of these open uh, vents. So really excited for that. So a lot of thought obviously was put into keeping that clean and also the ease of cleaning because some of the stuff, just that routine maintenance can really be a hassle, which means you put it off and that's not good for the machine. So they made it as convenient as possible really with these screens to just pop them in and off, clean them up real fast and kind of excited for that feature. So the next upgrade I want to mention on the P2S is the improved air assist. Now air assist is really important for laser cutting. So I got kind of a sample of a project I did earlier. So there's kind of a char around the edges when you laser cut, it's kind of bound to happen with just the process of it. Well, the air assist can really make a difference on the charring. And for a machine like this, where you're probably, if you're, if you're getting a machine like this, you're probably looking at it doing it for a business, you want a nice finished product. So that air, air assist is really crucial. Now the P2 does a, a decent job with the air assist, but with this increased air assist, uh, with the dual compressor setup, you're just gonna have that better cleaner cuts, which when it comes to selling a product, there's a lot less touch time is what I refer to it as, how much cleanup you have. So that dual compressor, I think is gonna be a, a huge, it is a huge upgrade to the machine for sure. So back when I was first starting off with laser cutters, I was working with the little portable air assist. I had all kinds of different setups. And what I finally did is I, I did a video on my $30 air assist, but I, 
took uh, some components and I hooked up my main air compressor to the laser cutter, which I had all kinds of control. I could have as much air as I basically want. Well, these machines kind of get away from that, which is good for the most part because everything's kind of in case it's built in so you don't have to worry about that extra um, feature but it does give you a little lack of control with it so having that upgraded air assist i think is going to be one of the big swings i think from the old p2 when you're kind of deciding which which machine you're going to get uh, that exhaust and that air assist are going to be um, two of the big decisions you're going to have to make now another new feature that x-tool is really promoting on this p2s is the ease of lining up those mirrors. Now, when I set up the original P2, that was kind of the most nerve wracking part of it is you're putting tape on the, the mirrors, you're trying to um, dial it in with just the fine tune adjustment because basically the laser beam is coming in and it's, it's ricocheting off mirrors to, to get to your, your cut. And what can happen is if it's really close, it might be lined up, but the further away, it might get a little all wax. So in the promotional video they have kind of this red dot it shows. I, th this kind of is a brand new machine, so I, I'm not sure about it. I don't think there's a red dot, not that I can see. The, in the software and stuff, it does make it easier to align, which is kind of one of the hassles of uh, owning a CO2 compared to like say a diode. But that red dot I think is more for the visualization in their promo ads than the actual use. Um, but the software and everything does make the process easier. They also have um, the screws to adjust the mirror, I think are a little easier than the original P2. So just something to add. Uh, I could be totally wrong on this. Uh, part of the problem with getting one of these first and doing these videos is you don't get to see really any other people's videos <laughs> to see what, uh, what they're figuring out. So everyone's kind of learning at the same time. We're trying to bring you the information and uh, help you when you get your machine set it up that much faster. So some of the other big improvements that Xtool is linking to the machine are actually on the software side of things. Now the software, Xtool software is the main reason I use all Xtool products. I, when I first was starting my laser cutter journey, I was using Lightburn and I had all kinds of issues with that, mostly just the machines even connecting to Lightburn, a lot of frustration. Then I started using some X tools, they had their own software and the machines always link perfectly. And to me, the software is just so much easier to use. Uh, the learning curve was much less than Lightburn. And so I kind of just transitioned to all using only X tool machines. Now, that being said, I think you can use Lightburn for most of the machines as well. I just stick with the X tool software. So on the software side of things, one of the things that they're pushing is the batch feature. Now I've used the batch feature on other machines like the F1 Ultra, they have the conveyor belt batch system. So the batch system isn't uh, super new to the X-Tool lineup, but uh, they're definitely trying to fine tune and improve it with all the software upgrades they keep doing. So really appreciate that. My view on the batching is still, if you're doing say like 500 tokens that are getting thrown out at a parade or whatever, batch it all day long. Like you don't really need to be perfect. For more precise things where you're dealing with customers that you want to exactly right, I still always am going to go with the jigs. With the jigs, you can get things set up precisely. You can kind of get in place, set up your file, and just repeat, repeat, repeat. And I don't know, you're going to have perfect engravings in my mind every time compared to that batching system. So if you're looking for the speed, the batching is definitely the way to go. If not, uh, you pick up one of my jigs and you'll have that precision every time. The next software improvement they're really promoting is the rotary attachment with the P2S. Now, this is actually one of the things I do not have. I do not have a riser base for the P2 or the P2S. I have my riser base for my Xtil S1. That's why I do my tumblers on mostly. I just kind of have it set up just for tumblers. So that'd be my go-to machine for that. But so the idea behind the rotary and uh, the X2 P2S is it's one thing to rotary like a smooth surface like that or even like maybe a slightly angled uh, tumbler. But for vases, for, for any like really weird shape now, it's gonna kind of take that digital image and kind of be able to know exactly where it needs to 
to engrave. And the P2 had the, the curved features uh, before. I know like a year ago I was working with uh, curved wood and they show the guitar or whatever, but to kind of combine that feature with the rotary is really exciting because there are definitely a lot of things that you might want to engrave that are not a perfect shaped tumbler like that. So to me, that's a really cool feature. Now, I guess we're so no, new to the P2S that I'm not sure what's going to necessarily be available in the future for the original P2. Are some of these strictly uh, software upgrades? where they're gonna be able to work for both machines uh, in the future, that I don't know, only Xtool knows, but uh, for sure going for the P2S is gonna have that stuff. So last thing I wanna mention with this brand new P2S is the increased X-axis speed. Now it can go 40% faster is what they're saying. So what does that mean? I don't know, 40% is 40%. But basically your side to side motion for engraving is gonna, you're gonna have that much more speed. So if you're doing like a full sheet of cutting and engraving or you have a ton of engraving, 40% faster over a big project can, can really make a difference. So you're gonna get that big of improvement uh, with the P2S compared to the original P2. So in my personal experience, the P2, the speed has not been an issue. I, I guess I've worked with so many dial lasers too that especially for cutting, uh, they can kind of be slow, but speed for, for each one of these CO2 lasers is, uh, to me, feels very fast. But that extra 40%, I mean, it, it's going to fly by in no time for engraving projects. So, and a lot of times when I'm engraving, I'm working on the computer anyway, so it's a multitasking thing. You don't have to just sit there and watch it. So, but important to mention that you aren't going to have those increased capabilities with the P2S. All right, with all that being said, let's finally talk about price. Now, I'm gonna talk in dollars. I know a lot of people, uh, depending on what country you are, that can vary, but we're gonna go with uh, just US dollars here. So right now, the P2S, it's $4,299. So $4,300 is for the brand new P2S. And the P2 is $3,700 or $3,699 or whatever. So basically, you're gonna have uh, $300 or $600 difference. So $3,700, $4,300. So it's a fair amount. Now, I believe when this, the original P2 first came out, it was around that price range. I can't remember for sure. I would say it was around the $4,300 price range. Now, what, what you're going to get for the P2S? So we talked about the improvements the upgrade. Only you as the customer can decide which, which is worth it. Is it worth the extra $600 to get the, the P2S? To me right now, the P2, that is, uh, both of these are the top of the line, more expensive, tool, uh, expensive machines for X tools. So I just want to acknowledge that. They are great, they are big purchases for basically everyone doing them. But right now, that $3,700 for the original P2 is, is a pretty decent price, especially where it was coming from a year ago. And the, to have all the upgrades basically and still be in the same price as the P2 originally was, you know, I, I feel like that's definitely fair. But uh, so only you can decide what is worth it for you. If you are original P2 or owner, I know uh, right at the start, they're going to have an extra, you can get extra money off getting the P2S. So kind of a, I don't know, loyalty program or whatever. So I'll provide a link to that so you can check it out. So if you already do own the P2 and you're interested in the P2S, um, or yeah, there's going to be some incentive there. So with all that being said, I basically, I've just got this two days ago. So this is kind of a brand new machine to me in the shop. I had the P2 over a year, so definitely a lot more familiar with that. So just getting started with this, so I'm excited for uh, future videos to come to really start testing out this machine. So if you do have any questions on this brand new P2S from Xtool, uh, leave in that comment section below. I guess I'm one of the first to have the machines, uh, so if you need a measurement or whatever, uh, yeah, leave that comment in. Leave that comment and I'll I try to help you out there. But as far as I can tell, basically all the measurements are going to be the same as the original P2. So yeah, that being said, I'm Chad from Chad DIY and we'll see you on the next one.